Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lennon back with another CSR2 video. So it is crew recruitment time. The new season is just about to start. If your crew is recruiting, leave a comment on this video. Let us know how much RP you require. Let us know if you get the milestone prize car. Let us know your rules, your regulations, your thingy dingies, anything somebody might want to know about joining a crew. Make sure you put it in the comment and leave some contact info. We will get back to that in a minute when we talk about how to find better crew members. Now, yesterday, this car was bright orange, the interior was different, but the game changed some of my colors back and stole my resources. So I'm not very I'm not very happy with that. The game is changing my colors. That car was bright orange yesterday, and I logged in this morning, and it's blue. Now, if you're a regular person and you're trying to find a crew, you can also leave a comment and just say, hey, I need a new crew. I normally make this amount of RP every season. And if you got some contact info, you should also leave that. So don't just be like, hey, I need to join a crew because nobody's going to pick you up if you don't say how much RP you normally make. For example, I normally make somewhere between 1.1 and 1.4 million every season. That's how much RP I normally make. I know it's not as much as some people, but I don't know how anybody can spend six hours a day playing a game if you don't have to. I would say I'm on this game for anywhere between 15 minutes and two hours per day, depending on the day. Sometimes I get on in the morning for 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes I get on later for 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes I pop on for a third time for 10 or 20 minutes, you know. I don't know, it just depends on the day, right? Some days I might pop on and just do the basics and then I'm done. But, you know, you just gotta, you gotta pace yourself. You play a game too much, you are going to get burnt out and you're gonna get sick of the game. So, you don't want to play something too much, in my opinion. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. But it's really not that hard to hit a million respect points. I mean, honestly, if you get less than a million... You probably could have done better, in my opinion, as long as you were able to do the Prestige Cup. If you can do the Prestige Cup and all the daily races, that's about 800,000 there. Add a little bit of live racing and showdowns, there's easily a million respect points. So it's not that hard to hit a million. Now, if you join a crew and you don't want to get kicked out, make sure you can make the respect points. Don't join a crew if you cannot make the respect points because they probably will kick you out. Don't activate a crew's wild card unless that crew gives you permission to activate the wild card. There's a pretty good chance they have a schedule and they want to stick to that wild card schedule. So if you activate it outside of the schedule, they might boot you out. So do not, I repeat, do not activate a wild card and make sure you can make the RP. Also, make sure you do any little racing thing on the map. Like there's the, the weekly cups or whatever where you do the eight races. There's the crew cups, the token cups. Those are all little three race events. I mean, you got to do those every day. Those things help the crew out. So those type of things will help you from getting kicked. And if you want to find better crew members, now here comes the fun part. Leave some contact info on your comments, right? Set up a line app, a Discord, a WhatsApp, or something where people can actually contact you. Leave your contact information, have people contact you, and then speak to them first. Be like, hey, can you make the RP we require? Are you able to do this? Are you able to do that? Can you do this thing? Can you do that thing? Are you able to do the other thing? And, you know, all that kind of stuff. And if they say yes to everything, then you let them in the crew and you will get way better members. For example, when my crew was starting out, we would just let anybody in. They would start our wild cards up. They would never make the points. They would do everything wrong. And it was a giant mess, a giant free-for-all. But once we started interviewing people, like, we use the line app. Now, right now, my crew is currently pretty full, so I don't think we have room to let anybody else in. But, you know, I, I forget where I was going with this. I was going somewhere with this, and now I don't remember. Crap. But, yeah, I mean, if you can interview people and talk to them and let them know the rules and everything else and make sure they agree to it, you're going to get way better people than just letting anybody into the crew. So... Find some way to speak to people first and make sure they agree to everything. Even if it's just a comment on this video, you can always re you know, comment to that person. Be like, hey, these are the rules. Do you agree to it? And if they say yes, then let them in the crew. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Or there's also the crew recruitment thing on my Discord server. There's a link to that in this video's description. 
if you want to learn more about CSR2 Racing, go to my channel, scroll down, you'll see my playlist that teach you just about everything about the game. I mean, if you need to know some sort of info, it's probably in there. I mean, there might be a few things that are missing, but, you know, nobody's perfect. But I try and cover as much stuff as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much the deal. If your crew is recruiting or if you're a person looking for a crew, leave a comment. Put your contact info, your information, all that good stuff in the comment, and ba-bam! Maybe you'll find an awesome crew or some awesome crew members. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys are super duper amazing. And we will catch you next time. See ya.